Good evening and uh, welcome to Confluent on this Monday evening. As we begin, let's just take a moment to gather our thoughts on this day. O Christ, Son of the living God, may your holy angels guard our sleep. May they watch over us as we rest and hover around our beds. Let them reveal to us in our dreams visions of your glorious truth. O High Prince of the Universe, O High Priest of the Mysteries, may no dreams disturb our rest and no nightmares darken our dreams. May no fears or worries delay our willing prompt repose. May the virtue of our daily work hallow our nightly prayers. May our sleep be deep and soft, so our work be fresh and hard. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Into your hands I commit my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart. How precious to me your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I make the cross of Christ upon my breast, over the tablet of my hard heart, and I beseech the living God of the universe. May the light of lights come to my dark heart from thy place. May the Spirit's wisdom come to my heart's tablet from my Saviour. Christ without sin, Christ of wounds, I'm placing my soul and my body under thy garden this night. Christ of the poor, Christ of tears, thy cross be my shielding this night. For thou, son of tears, of the wounds, of the piercing. I am going now into the sleep, albeit in my dear arms keep, O God of grace, that I shall fall. Tonight from our book, The Daily Prayer by Nick Fawcett, we're thinking about being a light inaccessible. Exodus 33 says these words. Moses said, show me your glory, I pray. God answered, I will cause all my goodness to pass before you, and I will pronounce my name, the Lord, in your hearing. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will be merciful to whom I would show mercy. However, you cannot see my face, for no one can see my face. Something to ponder. In recent years, we've seen some stunning pictures of the planets in our solar system, most particularly Mars and Jupiter, revealing details about them never seen before. Such pictures, however wonderful though they are, have only served to highlight the vastness of space and the massive limitations in our ability to explore it. Most of our solar system is millions of light years away. So even if we could send out a space probe now to distant stars, it would not yield any information for centuries to come. So much of the universe is tantalisingly inaccessible and can only be understood through piecing together the various clues given us. In a sense, the same was true for the Israelites when it came to God. He appeared remote in his holiness, or inspiring in his sovereignty, a God who inspired fear as much as love. If he could have known, let me say that again, if he could be known, it was only as a distant, being, not in the sense of a living and daily personal relationship. For us, all that is different thanks to Christ. In him, God has shared our humanity, becoming one of us. Through him, oh Teddy's gone, he has broken down whatever keeps us apart. From him, we receive life, the very life of God himself. 
it is the same God as before, enthroned in splendour all over. Yet a God who we can know as friend and companion, whom we can relate to one on one, and whom we can approach in confidence, knowing that his nature is to love and forgive, in contrast to the warning given Moses. Not only do we see God in Christ, but through doing so, we discover the life in all its fullness. Let me ask you a question. And then we'll just have a moment to listen to the rain and you can think about your answer. Do you have a sense of the magnificent, magnificence and glory? Let me read that again. Do you have a sense of the magnificence and sovereignty of God? Or has your relationship with him become too cosy? Do you have a sense of the closeness of God, present with you each day in Christ through his spirit? Or is your relationship with him too detached? Let's pray. Great and wonderful God, with awe and wonder I worship you. For you are greater than my mind can fathom. Beyond my highest thoughts, sovereign over all. I worship you in your holiness, and yet I also greet you as a friend. For you have shared my humanity, identifying yourself wholly with our world, and demonstrating the awesome extent of your love. You have broken down the barriers that keep us apart, and so I know you with me, day by day, constantly by my side. Great and wonderful God, give me a sense of your greatness and your grace, your power and your gentleness. Your eternal purposes spans all creation, it includes my life here and now. So may I give you glory through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. Be near me, uphold me, my treasure, my triumph. Circle me, Lord. Keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, keep peace within and evil out. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for staying with me for the duration of Compton, unlike Teddy. Please remember to care for and pray for yourselves as you are caring for and praying for others. And remember when you look at the enormity of whatever it is you are facing, how big is God? He is bigger than you think. Good night and God bless you.